Hey everyone, it's Dr. Obzeda here at Pelvic Rehabilitation Medicine. Today we're talking about IBS. So IBS stands for irritable bowel syndrome. It can be seen in males or females. Typically it's gonna present with um, changes in bowel habits, so constipation or diarrhea. Um, typically there's a lot of abdominal bloating and some discomfort. Sometimes even uh, patients can start to experience rectal urgency and mucousy stools. It is a diagnosis of exclusion. So it is pretty difficult to diagnose just because there's no one specific test or imaging we can do to you know, get that diagnosis. So a lot of patients do kind of live with it without being specifically diagnosed with IBS. We don't really know the cause of it, but it's definitely multifactorial. You know, diet, stress, altered gut microflora, uh, psychosocial factors, uh, food sensitivities, food allergies can all play a role in it. Basically anything that's causing inflammation in the gut can lead to IBS symptoms. But IBS can also lead to pelvic floor dysfunction just because with overactive, tight, or even weak muscles, we can start getting pelvic floor dysfunction. So that's why we screen for it here at Pelvic Rehabilitation Medicine.